Welcome back everyone, this is Dirch, and I'm doing a follow-up to what I did uh, yesterday with the sale of the recoil because, yeah, I made a fairly big mistake. When I went to study as she goes, this says reduces recoil with both guns while gun zerking. Um, additionally, each shot that hits the enemy has a chance to improve accuracy with both of your guns. So... I was thinking about the recoil effect on it, and that's why I wasn't worried about the accuracy, but it is the accuracy that makes this weird, and it's kind of interesting. I'm actually intrigued after playing with this a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and gun Zerk. Get my Lady Fist down to max accuracy. And you can see there, it's bumping in and out. So, the weird thing is, the way reverse recoil works this shouldn't really be a thing, but it is. So reverse recoil, you start out at your max accuracy, and as you shoot, you go to your min accuracy. With most guns, you start at your min accuracy, and you work out to your max as you shoot. So there are two accuracy stats with that. It's min and max. Now with recoil, there are two stats as well. There is recoil reduction and recoil recovery. So reduction is how fast it pops out and recovery is how much how fast it comes back in. And Hyperion reverses all this but the accuracy shouldn't have had anything to do with it but it does. And uh, I find this interesting. I think why it works this way and I'm not entirely sure but I think when you get that accuracy bonus, it kind of like resets the recoil and it pops out and it pops back in. But this being said, um, well, it's noticeable. It depends on the range you're playing and what you're doing. So with the Lady Fist, I was still able to crit pretty reliably. But you do notice the spread goes out. And... What I'm thinking basically is the skill or not. And originally I wanted to do these videos because people said it makes these guns unusable and terrible. And I don't think it makes them unusable and terrible. It definitely doesn't help them. But uh, if I'm doing a hy pure Hyperion build, yeah, I'm not taking this. Um, if I'm take doing a build where I'm using non-Hyperions 80% of the time and swap into a Hyperion... 20% um, of the time, I'm probably taking it. If I'm going 50-50, I don't know. Because right here when I'm shooting this guy, playing at sail range, I'm still hitting him just fine. Uh, when I back up, you know, if I'm shooting him from over here with a lady fist, then it might make a difference. Because right... Here, hit firing, you know, I'm barely kind of critting him. But really, when it pops out, am I hitting him? I'm missing those shots when it pops out with a lady fist. So, yeah, it definitely has a negative effect. I don't think the negative effect is god awful or unbearable or unusable. But, like I said, if you're doing a pure Hyperion build, definitely not. I mean, there's not a benefit to doing it. Uh, we saw two just testing the Lady Fist with a recoil. It made it about two shots slower from four to six. So it's definitely got a negative impact on the Hyperion guns, but I don't think it makes them unwieldy. So, like I said, if you're doing a Herald build where you're using a Herald 80% of the time, this is going to be really good for your Herald. Now... You know, it's not going to be so good for your other gun, but it's definitely going to help your Herald be way more accurate. But, uh, you know, if you are doing a... You know, the other way around where you're going to use the Herald 20% of the time, probably not. And the 50-50 depends what you're doing. If you're going and hitting raid bosses... You probably got a very specific build and setup, so depending on what you're using, yes or no. You know, if you're using the interfacers, then it's a primarily herald thing. But uh, that's the that's the gist of this skill. So 
On hit, it does make him a little bit worse, but it's not unbearable. The bullets aren't flying all over the place. It's not like all of a sudden you have anarchy. It's a tiny bump. It is annoying. And if that annoys you so much, then definitely don't take it. But uh, instead of just flatly ignoring it because you've been told it makes him unwieldy, you know, try it out and see what you think. Again, if you're using them 50% of the time or less. Because it is a big, big deal on your other guns. So you have to kind of balance that out. The the little Hyperion effect, does that make... Is it so bad that it's not worth it on your other guns? That's it. Um, sorry for messing that up yesterday. Um, I kind of want to get to the bottom of this why it works too, but I don't know if I ever will because it's kind of tough to uh, test these things and figure out why that's happening. Because the accuracy shouldn't affect it in a negative way, but it does, because reverse recoil is not reverse accuracy. Um, and you're just making the minute, I'm not sure if it's min or max that's helping, but either one should not make it bounce. But whatever, probably not gonna figure that out. Anyways, once again, sorry about uh, not being that thorough yesterday and missing this part of it. Expected more dislikes in that video than I got, to be honest. But um, yeah, I said I would do a follow-up and do more uh, testing on it, and that I have done. So I will see you guys later. Bye.